welcome you to the Elgano Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. If you have a question, feel free to message us on the various social media sites that will be down in the description below. And so today we're going to be talking about as you take care of your passion, your passion will take care of you. And so if you're an artist or a writer, you have a responsibility to present your idea or creativity to the world for example an idea i feel is like a a child and you're the parent you're bringing the idea the child into the life and as you take care of that child slash passion it will one day get to a point in which the child or the passion will eventually start taking care of you and so as creators there's this responsibility to take care of our passion and I know that for many artists or writers they have a innate story that they wish to share to the world and it may feel like a, a calling for example there are some artists they have this feeling that they should bring it out to the world and no matter what happens They'll feel like they have accomplished their life mission. And I know for a lot of artists and also myself, their work can be therapeutic for them. And the therapeuticness comes within the idea of whatever they wish to create. For example, for my specific idea of my comic, I know that if I were to work on somebody else's vision or idea, it will get a sense of feeling like work. However, if it's gathered towards my own vision, something that I wish to do, then it will become a lot more therapeutic. And pretty much working on somebody else's passion will feel like you're babysitting them. For example, you're babysitting their child, you're growing their child as opposed to your own child, which can be a lot more enjoyable. And so if you're a parent and you suddenly have a, a stranger, you're taking care of a stranger's uh, child, it wouldn't, the connect wouldn't really uh, be as strong as opposed to if it is your own child. And it, it, the connection would be a lot more uh, powerful. And the same idea goes towards you as an artist or a writer or whatever creative endeavor. You're, you have this sense of connection to your own craft, your own vision. And of course, raising your child, there are going to be some tough times and of course there are also going to be some enjoyable and lovable time. Likewise to cultivating that passion or that vision that you have. And so as a parent, the, some of the challenges or you know the loves it comes within uh, how can you possibly make the, the child grow? How can you provide the best mental health, the best emotional health, and the best physical health for the child so that eventually the child can grow up and eventually, you know, leave the parents, leave the household and whatnot. And likewise, if you're a creator, uh, how can you provide the best knowledge to enhance your, you know, if you're a musician, your music, your music, your musical skills, or if you're an artist to enhance your, you know, artistic abilities, what can you do? What books can you read? What tutorials can you watch? You know, what what mentors can you look for? All in all to help enhance and grow your artistic ability. And so let's say you're an artist, you're providing the best ed, uh, educational material, the best practice for what you should do and, and whatnot. And as you're doing that, your your art, I mean, your drawing are going to eventually grow and grow and become a lot more visually appealing. And that visually appealing to the world, to the crowd, you know, that will eventually get the crowd gathering towards your art because they're seeing the growth of what's taking place. And so as the, the crowd and the audience gathers, they're seeing the amount of care that you provided for your child or the amount of care that you provided for your passion. And by seeing that proof, that's going to make people gather towards you. And of course, you as an artist has to do the part of sharing your passion to the world. And as the audience sees the, the amount of growth that you took to care for that child or the passion 
that will eventually lead to many opportunities that will arise as you continue to share and so people may want you to do commissions people may want you to you know to, to team up or work here or work there because they see that uniqueness the the care that you put into to take care of that child or the passion so then in turn when people are actually uh wanting you to do commissions and giving you opportunities to do certain things all for your passion that's when your passion comes in to take care of you because they are the, your passion is the one that's gr getting and grabbing people's attention towards you so the passion is taking care of in essence and so really and truly there is also another side to this what a parent should give to the child is to help to enhance the child's mental and emotional and physical growth in order for it to you know be able to sustain on its own but uh sometimes you know bad parenting can lead a children to stray to a different path uh likewise to you know not taking proper care of your passion as a creator and so and likewise for a creator that has abandoned their passion they will be working for somebody else's mission and goal they will not know themselves they won't be able to express themselves fully they wouldn't know which direction to go into simply because they've lost their guidance their passion way back before and that will be the video thank you guys for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video found the, the video engaging feel free to hit that red subscribe button down below and that will be all peace out